Hello everyone, it's Loisim here and uh, this is the second part of uh, building an old Irish pub. So if you haven't checked it out already, there's a part one where I build the exterior and uh, now we're building the interior. So uh, pretty much the look I was going for this was all dark browns, uh, woods and bricks. Uh, so pretty much ki kind of what you see in real life in an Irish pub or uh, those European pubs that sometimes, at least in my case, are uh, in the basement of some old townhouses, but well, this one isn't. It's, uh, it's on the ground floor. So yeah, here I'm, uh, I'm just building the bar and... Um, what I basically did, at, uh, at one point you'll see that, I just took mostly all the items that are bar related in the game and uh, just dragged them all in and chose what I liked. So, yeah, uh, another thing that uh, I use a lot in, uh, uh, in this, uh, there you can see that I just dragged a whole lot of bottle items and menus and everything that you can, can kind of see behind the bar. Uh, and yeah, another thing I used a lot w are uh, those uh, Discover University tables that are looking like regular tables, but they're uh, higher up, so you can just use stools instead. Uh, because I suppose that's also uh, a theme that's usually fine in bobs. And uh, here I'm just placing the items around and seeing what fits and what doesn't. Um, just putting a bunch of menus and all those uh, cats and dogs barrels with uh, bottles in them and just yeah, pretty much this whole bar is a bunch of menus. Um, now, obviously, you can't really see what's written on them, but I, I, th I thought it looked quite good. Uh, right, so um, a, a lot of items I'm using here are either cats and dogs or Discovery University. Uh, and... Um, yeah, pretty much what I intended for this lot uh, is that it works both as a restaurant if you have dine out and also as a pub for the base game. So if you want to play with this as a restaurant, you can totally do that. Uh, you can change the lot type to restaurant and it has everything it needs. So right now I'm building the kitchen with the uh, items from dine out so that uh, you can have a cook and all that and um, later on I'll change the lot type to bar so that uh, uh, it can be used as bar as well. Uh, you can find this in the sim for gallery and uh, you can search by uh, Louis sim hashtag and uh, you should find my builds there. Uh, and um, yeah, it's fully furnished. It's uh, lot type is as a bar, but again, uh, you can just change it to restaurant if you would like that. Oh, and I used those bathroom stools from Discovery University and uh, it's so good that we finally got those. Uh, it's kind of sad that we don't have any in the base game, so if you don't have that pack, you'll just have to use regular toilets and make uh, like wall stalls and with doors and all that and what I also wanted to do here because I, I don't know usually when I go to this sort of pub at least in my country the walls are full of graffiti and drawings so I kind of wanted to do that but I know there is uh, some swatches for uh, the stalls where it's already filled with graffiti but it's only for the bad stalls like the ones with the gap and I didn't really want to use those because, let's be honest, who was that? Uh, so I just put a few decals and uh, yeah, I, I think it still looks alright. 
Yeah, so these are the tables I was talking about from uh, Discovery University. And another thing that I usually saw in this kind of places are those corner sofas, I suppose, where uh, you can just have either these really long benches that go along a wall and with tables and uh, maybe a chair on the other side or those corner pieces. So I use again from Dine Out those uh, corners sitting areas and yeah, there I try to actually make the whole wall with uh, with uh, the, the seats but I didn't really like the way it overlo oh, like overlapped with the window so I scraped that idea. And I was trying to fit in a ping pong table but I, it just didn't really look right so what I ended up doing instead was I built an upstairs area and used the new stair f features so that uh, it's a, a bit more I guess uh, it fits well it fits better than with the stairs like that and now because uh, even though this building is quite big I, I didn't want to uh, make the bar too big or spacious because it kind of I don't know I guess it felt less cozy so I just did uh, a small bit of um, of the building and again the upstairs is even tinier but, but I think in the end it looks fine so uh, here I'm struggling with uh, uh, making the upstairs an open space area because uh, in The Sims, if uh, you end the wall, uh, a room with a fence, suddenly the r roof clips through the walls and it's really annoying and I was trying to avoid that, but it didn't really work out. Uh, but thankfully, since I had a really easy roof to work with, I just dragged the eave, I guess. I I'm not sure if that was the right word. But uh, yeah, so upstairs is pretty much a gaming area. Now, I know it's not all that practical in real life because I suppose you could easily get a ping pong ball in someone's drink downstairs. But it's the same, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, I also think I put one of those uh, game tables the, where you can play cards and all that. I, I don't really use that item all that much, but I, I guess it fits for uh, a bar. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out some more uh, detailing for the room. And um, I use this full wood panel. I think it looks quite all right with, uh, with the black bricks. And Right now it's just a matter of more details. I uh, try to find some posters or some uh, art to put on the walls and I, I think I used some Discovery University posters. And uh, what I usually notice in this kind of places are a lot of music related pieces or art or uh, either music or football so that's kind of what I also went for but I couldn't really find a lot of items that I guess fit the uh, look I was going for so in the end I just left a few posters and oh man I really wish those uh, jazz uh, paintings uh, you know there are like three jazz paintings that are with a pink background oh I really wish it would come in dark green but it doesn't and that's the problem that a lot of really old base game items have uh, not enough swatches and you, they're not all that versatile at all because yeah they just don't have the right colors to them or they have some really ugly frames that they come with so yeah I couldn't really use those because I didn't ra like the, the way the pink looked and yeah I suppose I'm not really doing much at this point just trying to figure out some last detailing and uh, I think I ended up uh, 
moving some decorations around and yeah i uh, i usually use those really bright lights that are quite modern uh, when i build and just pop them in at, at the start to have good lighting and most times i forget about them and just has those every build has those really bright modern lights but this time i was like oh wait so i'm just trying to find something that lights up this place but oh man the lights in this game are so bad like let me tell you this was a struggle <laughs> I, I used a lot of those black lamps but they don't really work all that well and again remember upstairs is kind of open space so i couldn't really uh, put any lamps because they would hang from nothing upstairs so i had to just line them up around the balcony and that was another struggle uh, but yeah in the end i think the lightning is okay it's still a little dark but I didn't want to overdo it as well. And I think I left that light in the kitchen because it's the kitchen, doesn't really matter. It doesn't really have to fit in all that uh, uh, Irish pub vibe. And yeah, a few more decorations in the kitchen, uh, a few small changes. At this point, I'm just looking around, seeing if uh, something's missing, if I want to add anything more. See, I, I was looking at those jazz pictures thinking, oh man, those would have been so great. But sadly, no, I, I couldn't. I, did, I didn't want to use them, basically. And I think I uh, got rid of all those barrels there, yeah, because uh, it, it gave me a different kind of place just not an Irish pub, just a uh, si sailor pub, I suppose, if, if that's even a thing. Yeah, so we're going into the screenshots. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to leave a like. And uh, subscribe for more Sims 4 content and maybe other games in the future. And yeah, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!